There's a lot in life to be passionate about. You can be passionate about art, about your hobbies, fishing, gardening, playing golf, passion about your family, your mom, dad, your children. Others are passionate about sex, or money, or any number of ideals that the word passion evokes. Some people are passionate about their spirituality, passionate about believing, believing in something greater than this existence, believe in a life after this one, because life, life is something to be passionate about. What is life but a passionate engagement? My passions, my life, is this woman, this beauty who has held my heart for so long now, emotionally supporting me, daring to fall in love with me, sharing a life with me even though she knew the risks, the risks of marrying a soldier. I told you that I'd always take care of you. Because of all the things in this world there are to be passionate about, a soldier holds one passion above all others, his duty. Dean. Yes, sir. All right, we're still several clicks east of the ambush point. I want you to take half the men, move forward, and secure it. I'm going to take the other half. We're going to fall back about half a click and follow. Sir, are you sure? We got word yesterday that there's insurgents in the area. I'm sure. Look, we've got to cover as much air as we can, spot as much as we can, secure as much as we can. <sighs> You'll be okay. I'll be right behind you. Yes, sir. All right, half you men, come along with me. Simpson, Sergeant. you're on radio, so you're with me. Let's go, move out. Come on. Dean. Keep your eyes open out there. Yes, sir. Damn it! What's the with you? I'm sweating. And my big ass hairy balls are sticking to my leg. You ever thought about wearing underwear? Fuck no, I like free balling to my knees, gentlemen. Plus, I heard it lowers your sperm count. What's a man whore like you worried about his sperm count for? I thought you weren't gonna have any kids. That's exactly what the world needs a small, psychotic version of him running around. <laughs> don't worry, I don't want any fucking kids. What you worried about your sperm count for there? I'd like your mama to have something to chew on before she swallows. All right, gentlemen. In case you have to be reminded we're in a hot zone, so let's cut the shit out. Keep your eyes open. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I hope some of these sons of bitches decided to hang back. We might see a little action today after all. How much farther to the ambush point? Just over that hill. Simpson, Sorry. get on the horn and... 
Keep your eyes peeled, boys. I don't think we're alone out here. Oh, shit. Simpson, radio in to the captain, let him know our situation. Look alive, move out. Right over these hills, boys. Get down! Get down! Who the fuck is it coming from? Up there! You missed it! No, no, we'll cover you! We have enemy contact! We are receiving fire! I repeat! We are receiving fire! Oh, fuck. I repeat! We have enemy contact! Alright, that's them! Contact. Come on! They're getting hit! Let's go! Let's go! Coming from that hill. Somebody put smoke on the top of it. Davis, call the fast movers. Have me smoke the target. He's hit. I'm going. Down. All right. Get yourself killed. They're getting the shit beat out of him out there. We have to go. Down, down, and they're, they're dead. dead. They're the shit beat down, soldier. What the fuck are we doing, guys? Shut it. up. Captain! All right, all right, we're fucking going. Okay, Captain. You three on my mark. We're gonna move. You keep fire on that hill. Keep him down. Make sure the five boys finish him off. Ready? Yes, on sir. my mark, go. Yeah, motherfucker. Bet you can make it. Yeah. Wouldn't miss it for the world. Air support is in. Confirm your coordinates. We gotta get to that radio. No, we gotta get out of here. What are you doing? Uh, Come on. Air support is in route. This is the only life I've ever known. The only life I've ever wanted to know. I'm a soldier. This is who I am, and all I ever will be.
but I know that it isn't everything I can be. It's not so hard taking care of you. There was an emptiness in my life that was filled the day I met you. You made this soldier a complete man. The army taught me about loyalty, about duty, about honor. As your husband, I promise to honor you, to be loyal and faithful. From this day forward, it will be my duty to be the best husband that I can be. Today, tomorrow, and forever. And now Christina's back. Since the day I met you, I knew that we were destined to be together. Perfect union, country girl like me and a soldier boy like you. It was imaginated in heaven. But I am blessed. Because never in a million years did I think I would ever find someone like you. You have brought me happiness that I have never known. With you, it's like one of those sappy romance novels. Only this is real. Something I can feel. And only you can make me feel that way. I was warned about you. Be careful, they said. He's already married. Married to the army. A soldier like him doesn't have room in his life for a wife. I'm glad I didn't listen. And if the army was your wife, I'd be content just being your mistress. <laughs> <laughs> but I know that you feel what I feel. I know it when you look at me. When you smile at me, it's in the way you kiss me and hold me. And I promise to be the best wife that I can be, to love and honor you in sickness and in health. I promise to take care of you forever. I love you, Captain Keith Gordon. If there's no objection to this union, I now give you Mr. and Mrs. Keith Gordon. Make this the best. You good enough to eat. Mm -hmm. Well, you're gonna have to wait till after supper. Oh, hurry up! Okay. I'm hungry, damn it! What's up, man? Hey, you made it. How's it going? Hey! Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, partner. And you? Mm -hmm. You been taking care of my boy or what? Uh, he's been well taken care of. Uh huh. I bet. Mm -hmm. Why don't you take care of me, baby, and get me a beer? <laughs> it's in the fridge. Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> he settles a train wreck, ain't he? Oh, he's got problems. Look at you. An old married man. Uh -huh. That old I stuff. I thought I'd see that. But you gotta tell me this. She got you around a little short leash yet or what? But Dude, I got me a good one. I ain't going nowhere. I can see that. I'm happy for you. Well, we've known each other for like, what, six years now or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and in those six years, not once did I ever think that Captain Gordon would settle down and get married. She went and did it, man. I, uh, I know she's got to be one hell of a lady to sell you down. <laughs> yeah, she is one hell of a lady.
there's only thing an asshole has to do to have a that. How's married life treating you? I told you, Dan, it's doing me great. I'm not talking to you. I know what living with you is like. <laughs> so tell me, how have you survived this long putting up with this guy? It's only been a month, Dean. Oh, <laughs> a month already? You must be ready to leave him for a real man now. Because it just so happens that I'm available. <laughs> <laughs> You're likely to remain available. She's staying with me, Dean. Sorry. <laughs> That's right. Mm. So... Is it hard? What's that? Being married to a soldier. Oh, not this kid. No, I'm serious. We've talked about it, getting married and all that. It's just, I don't worry about it all. He can be called up at moment's notice, being gone for weeks or months overseas in dangerous places. I mean, how do you handle that? I know it's what he loves, so I support him. I knew what I was getting into marrying a soldier. And the risks were all worth it. So you guys hear what's been going on in the Middle East? Ah, yeah, man, it's pretty crazy over there. We're coming down as America's gonna be sending some of our boys over there to calm things down just a little bit. Hell, I'm ready for some action. How <laughs> big you are? What, man? Just wanna get in one more tour before I get out. Yeah, what? What do you think, man? The army. What do I think? I think you're not going anywhere, that's what I think. <laughs> Come on, Williams. You like this job as much as we do. Oh, yeah, I love this job. But I'm not a career soldier. That's for you two. I got other plans. What else would you be doing? Law enforcement, maybe. I've always uh, wanted to do that. A cop. Yeah, a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's so funny. You playing a policeman. I mean, I thought the army was crazy for letting you carry a gun, but you telling me you, as a cop, <laughs> Williams, you know you have to shout a warning before you shoot him, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we're just kidding, but seriously, dude, I mean, you're like a little bit, oh heck, uh, gung ho. Yeah, there you go. Let's do one more tour. It'll be fine by me. I don't know about all that. I mean, would you have to go? Uh, if they call us to go, we got to go. That's part of the job. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Don't you worry your pretty little head, Tina. If our division is called up, I'll be there to protect your old man. That's what I'm here to do. That's <laughs> what we're trained to do, baby. But you better come home to me. I'm not going anywhere. Man, fuck all this shit, man. Let's get fucked up. <laughs> to the U.S. Army. Right. Army. To the Army. Army. What are you thinking about? What I'm worrying about now. Well, you shouldn't. You knew what you were getting when he married you. Did you call us? Let go. It's as simple as that. But I know it. I'm always going to come back to you. Somebody has to take care of you, right? Hey. Doesn't it bother you? What? If we were involved, I would want to come home to you. But you could be putting your life in danger for something that doesn't even concern our country. No, it doesn't bother me. It shouldn't bother you either. It's what you do. You didn't care enough to go in and make the wrong things right. This world will destroy itself. I care because I want to make the, the world a better place for people to be. For them. For our family when the time comes to start. See, I want to grow old with you. In a world where we don't have to fight each other. But there's nothing to do with that. There's 
that for you, but before others can destroy it. So I can be here. Hey, so Mike, all the circus let him know the tattooed lady escaped. <laughs> Shut up. Keep your dick beaters off me, faggot. Hey, go now. Don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> I don't have to ask. Uh, I can just tell. <laughs> hey, you two fucks, dick. Quit fucking around with each other. Get ready. Come on. I'll quit when bitch boy here stops running his cum catcher and trying to lick my butthole in the shower. <laughs> Who's this? Come on, man. Give it back. Hey, is this your girl back home? Hey, William, let's check it out. Oh, not bad, yeah. dude. Not bad. Is your lady back home? Yeah. Her name's Melinda. When I get home, we're gonna get married. Oh, that's so sweet. Too bad she's at home getting fucked in the ass just like your mom. Oh, Go to hell, Williams! <laughs> Give the kid a break, man. Come on. I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying, man. <laughs> All right, ladies! All right, gentlemen. We're going out to the cliffs today. We're gonna to try to root some of these rats out of their holes. Once we hit the release point, we'll be on foot. Any questions? Yes, sir. Hey, hey. I heard the good news. How long? Two weeks. I bet Christina can't wait to see you. It's been two years. What do you think? I can't wait to see her either. Yeah, I know, but, uh, you're gonna miss this, right? What? The long, dusty rides? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna be just fine. <laughs> Alright, now, will you just tell her to keep sending me those pictures? What pictures? You know, those pictures where she's in that, like, sexy little lingerie, and she's making those little poses for me. You, sir, are an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But, you know, uh, seriously, man, I'm, uh, I'm gonna miss you. You'll be home soon enough yourself. Besides, still gonna look at mildly mugged for the next 13 days. This is true. Let's go. Let's All right, man. We're probably gonna hit a hot spot about seven clicks out. It's been quiet, too quiet. But Intel says the insurgents are on the move, so let's stay alert. Let's do it. Ma'am, may I speak with you outside, please? Ms. Gordon, we've done all we can. He'll require constant care. More than likely, he won't ever use his arms or legs. If there's anything we can do, just let us know. We'll send a specialist to talk with you. Again, I'm so sorry. Thank you.
beautiful. It's okay, I got it. Would you that I would always take care of you? Been coming here a lot lately. Peaceful. Gives me a chance to think. A place to clear my head. I wanted you to see this, Keith. Seeing it, Dean. Oh, Keith. Look at the names on the wall. My name. My name could have been on this wall. Had it not been for what you did, you saved my life out there. Never got a chance to thank you for what you did out there for me. You don't have to, Dean. Yes. Yes, I do. I know you think you did what any good soldier would have done. I truly believe that. The fact of the matter is, you are a good soldier. I wouldn't be standing here today with you if it had not been for what you did. You saved my life out there. And what about me, Dean? What about what's left here? It's nothing but a shell, man. Keith, it's time to stop feeling sorry for yourself. Dean, I am so far past self-pity. Now all I feel is anger. Anger? Anger at what? Anger at this? Do you see these names? Do you see these men who sacrificed themselves? It should have been me, Dean. It's the kind of a soldier I was. I was a good soldier. I was proud to serve this country. I'd have gladly given my life. These men, they're going to be remembered as heroes. I'm not going to be remembered as a hero, Dean. I'm not even going to be remembered as a soldier. I'm going to be remembered as a fucking cripple. And all I've got is a medal to show for it. So what are you saying? You saying you wish you would have died out there? The best parts of me did die out there, Dean. What's left? Just burning away. What about Christina, man? 
your wife? Or have you even thought about that? Are you too self-absorbed and self-centered for that to even cross your mind? She loves you. You're killing her, man. You're killing us. I come here every weekend to read the names on these walls. I start over there where my husband's name is listed. And I read each and every name until I get over here to where my son's name is engraved. My husband, he was a good man and a brave soldier. He left for the war when our child was just a baby. I remember bringing our son out here when he was little. He loved to read his daddy's name on the plaque. He was so proud, so proud of his daddy. He decided he wanted to be a soldier just like his daddy. And when he turned 18, he joined the army. At first, I didn't want him to go. I had already lost his father in a war, and I couldn't bear the thought of losing him in yet another. But he was stubborn, just like his daddy. And I knew that serving this country was in his blood, and I couldn't stop him from doing what he wanted to do. When I got the news, that my son was gone too. I wanted to die. Just like his father, he died serving the country he loved. I felt so alone. So empty. And then a few days later, I got a letter in the mail. It was from my son. The last letter he ever wrote. And he told me he loved me, and he missed me. And I should be strong. That he was there doing the right thing. And that he would proudly die for that cause. His only regret is that he had just one life to give to his country. My son's name is here. It's a name on this plaque memorialized with all these other names. But it's just a name. He's in here. My son is inside me and in the hearts of all the people that loved him. Remember, you're not alone. I know what it is to have lost. Your wife and your friend over there, they don't have to hold on to memories of you. They don't have to come here and read your name on a wall. They still have you. Every day, it just sits there, staring out the window. He won't eat. He doesn't sleep. He hardly even talks to me anymore. I'm losing him, dear. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, I know how hard this is for you. It kills me to see him like that, but it hurts me even more see you like this. Somehow, you've got to stay strong for him. I 
can't be strong for him. Not anymore. I can't even be strong for myself. Do you know what he said? He told me that he wasn't a man anymore. And that if he couldn't be a soldier anymore, he would rather die. It was like his damn army was the only thing that ever mattered to him. It was so cold when he said it. Like, like I never mattered. Tina, he's, he's hurting now. The army, that is his wife. But I'm his wife. That doesn't matter to him. Listen, yes, you mattered. He loves you right now. He's grieving. He's, he's grieving for himself. We've all grieved for him, Dean. You've come by every day for the last two months. You've been there for him. But does he notice? Does he care? No. He's being selfish. All he cares about is himself and his army. You, me, and the rest of this world, we don't matter. Not anymore. Well, I tell you, he's had enough of my pity. You hear that, you son of a bitch? Are you still here? Yeah. I had to do some sleeping pills yesterday. It's the only thing I could think to do. Because I'm sleeping more. I don't know how he does it. I feel so wrong about him. Killing him. I can't. I feel like you owe him after what he did for me. No. I'm here for you. He did for me what any soldier would have done. It's what we do. But you, you're more than a wife to him. You've gone beyond what any woman could have done. You've done it all alone. That's why I come here day after day. woman should have to endure what she went through alone. <laughs> You're an amazing woman, Tina. Any man could appreciate that. I'm just sorry that he doesn't. I wish I could have been the man she wanted me to be. I wish I could have been as good a husband as I was a soldier. But this is not the man that I am. I don't hate her for this. My heart is broken, but she isn't the one who smashed it. I love her, still. And it may seem ironic that this is how things end for me. But the dissolution of trust isn't what bothers me. I'm a soldier. I may be a broken man, one in his final moments in life. 
still reeling the loss that killed me long before this water will. But I am a soldier. My job is my passion. My duty is my passion. And without that passion to keep me going, I'd rather end it this way. I welcome this. She's mourning now. Is it for me? Or does she cry for herself? Is guilt setting in? I want to tell her that this, this is okay. This is actually what I want. There are those that say passion never dies. It remains with you forever, in your life, in your dreams, in your death. What they don't tell you is that your passion can be killed, taken away from you in the twinkling of an eye or the flash of a moment, or with one well-placed mortar round. My passion was taken from me on that desolate ground, and my life has been meaningless ever since. I lost my passion for life that day. And what is life but a passionate engagement? I don't know how it all ends. I don't see how it matters if I love someone like you. I don't care for falling a blaze. I hope I. Drunk in a haze, cause it's clear I'm drinking you. We got a thousand miles to live. I give you my life, cause it's my gift. Oh, when I met you in the desert sand. And I'll carry you to another land Oh, we stand down south Neat Canadian skies And pray this blood runs dry And hope is fight hope is fight Subside
inside.